welcome to Scrap Time. My name's Christine, and in this video, I am showing you the Animal Lopes die from iCrafter. And the die allows you to make these really cute gift card envelopes. So this one here, I'll open up. You can see it fits your gift card perfectly. And then you close it up. And you can make all different animals. It comes with different ears and then nose, um, eyes. You can have like this type of eye, that one. And then here it is upside down. You could go both ways. So some different eyes, flowers, leaves, and that to make these different um, animals. So this is the die set here. And then I have cut a lot of extra pieces that I like to put in, um, but you get a bunch of different dies in there. So these are the pieces I'm going to be using. I'm going to make a unicorn die. So I'm gonna just dump out my extra pieces. So the envelope itself is in two parts. You have the body of the envelope and then you have the little fold over part. And that allows you easily to make a two color animal. The back is the brown and then this top, you can cut any color you want. I'm making a unicorn, so I decided to cut it all white. So first off, I'm going to build my envelope and I just need a bit of glue down the sides. And then that just folds up. And then the little flap here, I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. And then your top sits perfectly on top of that. And that is how quick it is to put together the envelope. And now it's time to have fun decorating it. So I have some different pieces here. So for the unicorn, it has a couple little cheeks that I'm going to glue on. I think a little lower. And then it has the eyes. So I think I'll do the eyes first so I can get them in place. The eyes are gonna go around there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the eyes. this one. Now as I said these eyes they can go this way they can be turned um, the opposite way like up like that and then it also came with the other eye with more of the circular part. So we have the eyes then there's this cute nose that fits right at the bottom of the point so I'm going to glue that on. It basically comes with one nose. And then this one has cute little cheeks, but it comes with whiskers as well. So if you're making kitties like I did. Now some of the pieces, like the eyes, you get you can cut them both out at once, whereas the little round cheeks, it's one die, so you have to cut it out a couple times. So then we also have the ears. So I have the ears and I've already did one of the ears. So you can see there's a curve in the ear. 
So I want to, so when you do the middle part, it's actually um, one ear that you have to cut and the middle part's the same. So before I cut the sides, but just looking at this now, I think if I just cut off the bottom bit, can you see or are my fingers in the way? If I just cut off the bottom bit, it will make that little shadow around. So instead of, before I was cutting up the sides, but now I realize I can just cut off that and then I'll glue it on. Oh, we have a visitor. My cats love to craft. If you follow me on my personal account on Instagram, you'll see that Albie is always with me. But here we have Tulip. We're going to move her along. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put the ears just sort of on like that. Can you see it? And so I put the glue and I glue it from behind. And I want that curve there. Oops, I put the glue on the wrong side. It happens, wipe it off. So next up, we have the little unicorn. Now I had this cute gold paper, but it was very thin. So I cut it out of the white and then I just glued the gold onto it. So I'd have a cute little unicorn. I wanted it to be shiny. And then finally, we're going to finish it up with some flowers. Now, the one thing I learned is the unicorn's okay because there's nothing there, but you, we wanna keep our flowers below this flap if it's interfering with the ears or else when you go to open your envelope, it's hard. So, just going to probably do something like this and then cut another flower down there or leaf at this point. Now um, you get one leaf and then a set of little flowers and that, so you have to cut them out multiple times. So what I like to do is while I'm cutting other things, I add um, the leaf and the flowers on, so I'm cutting it all at the same time. I don't go back later and cut them one at a time. So decide what you're using um, what shapes you're going to be using and try to make the most of it every time you cut. So I'm just going to, my glue I think is getting stuck a bit. I just use a pin to unstick my glue. And then here I think I just want like one petal down there. So I just ripped it off. Oh, now my glue's overflowing, of course. Oh, we have another visitor. This is Albie. Albie is coming to say hi. Right, Albie? Do you wanna say hi? Yes. So anyway, we're almost done here. And then Albie and I can get back to crafting ourselves, I guess. So now I just want to place my flowers down. So there's, the, oh, Albie, this is, this is typically how close Albie likes to sit beside me while we craft. He needs to be involved. Okay, so honey, you, you just have to sit over there for a few more minutes. Normally we, um, here, if I move over, normally the cats go and hang out with Gemma while we craft or film, but today they said, no, 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 we're gonna be good. 
please let us hang out with you. And then this is what happens. So as I was saying, the flowers, you have a few different types of flowers here. And these little centers are its own die in a large and a small. So again, when I'm cutting everything else out, I'm cutting those out. Otherwise, you'll be there a long time if you're like, oh, now I need a flower. Because you want to use a few flowers, it would mean cutting quite a few times. So that's why it's best if you can prepare ahead of time what you want to cut and um, cut everything at once. This is our last flower. Ta-da! And now we have a cute little unicorn animalope. And so these would be super cute even at the holidays. I was thinking this um, little reindeer guy, you can make him into Rudolph during the holiday, which would be really cute. Or just giving any of these other animal ones. I think cute for birthdays, holidays, Easter, make the bunny. Um, here's the bunny. Make him for Easter or little love bugs for Valentine's Day. This die, once you have it, I think you'll use it over and over and over again. It's super cute. There's so many different combinations of what you can make. And check it out. It's the Animal Lopes die from iCrafter. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.